Hey humans, welcome back to my channel, Twenty B L V Mouth of the South. No intro, no outro, just this ho. <laughs> Woo, it's Saturday, finally. As you know, I always say, not a minute too damn soon. Whew, the weekend is finally here. Into the video, it is with Snow77707, Maddie Bell or Maddie. I am doing a video with her. We're collabing on luxury sneakers. Maddie is so cool. I love her channel. Here's the best thing about watching her is that she will get talking about a bag that you have no clue that she even has. Girl, she'll get in that cubby hole and be like, and this. <laughs> and you'll be like, whoa, hold up. I did not know you even had that bag. Like, her bag collection is extensive, and you don't know what all she's got. She's going to show you one day, but man, oh man, those bags... She got a great collection. Oh, and this is my bag that I am carrying, which I unboxed last week. Um, so I can't get enough of this bag. I love her. Oh, I'll make love to you. No, not really. Uh, for the right price. I've been collecting some sneakers since I don't even know when. I've been a sneakerhead since I was a little kid, or I've loved sneakers, I'll say that. I really don't have a lot of... Um, like sneakerhead, you know, like the Back to the Future kicks or those Dior. I don't, you know, Air Force One. I don't have any of that. I wish. I totally wish. But, you know, I'm a bag person mostly, but I love Cortez. Nike Cortez is my jam. I must have 20, 25 pairs of those in different arrays, and I'm always trying to find more. But um, I've been on a kick, you know, since probably December. Uh, around Christmas time, I've just been buying up, buying up sneakers. Um, not that many, but a few pairs. And I've had some mishaps along the way. Uh, so ordering online and getting them, they don't fit. Uh, uh, story of my life, because my foot, you just never know. And designers, they don't really design for <laughs> the robust woman. So yeah. But shame on them. Louis Vuitton, however... They actually do. Louis Vuitton, these I found out were the perfect size. They were wide enough. They were, my toe came down. The toe box wasn't crowded. Everything was everything good about these little girls. Except you all know I have the one complaint, which is this bubbling of the tongue. And y'all know, as I said, the last one, normally bubbling of a tongue, I'm all about it, but no, not on my sneakers. It does, it comes down, it pushes down, and it bubbles out, and I'm forever more. You know that the next thing that I got on, well, I had those on reserve, I think, for a long time, for two months. So, in the meantime, she was on a hunt. Remember, I bought Golden Goose. I did a whole video about, video about this. I bought Golden Goose. I got duped. Somebody sent me some fakes. I was ticked off about that. My husband said, buy them, but don't go crazy. Anyway, I got these for a great deal. Uh, brand new, but you can't tell it because they are worn out sneakers. But I do, this was my uh, first authentic pair of these. I only have two. Um, but love those. I switched out the shoelaces. Which I think really set it off, girl. Then I went on Mercari. Because I ain't about, you all know me. I'm going to buy it. But I'm only going to buy it if it's a good deal. I, I'm i just not. I don't like to pay full price. And if I can find it pre-loved on the pre-loved market. And if they look brand new. And they say they're new without tags or whatever. I'm still cool with that. I'm down. I will buy them. Uh, and I'll get them for a deal, girl. But anyway, I got these on Mercari. Um, I had to take the... <laughs> I think these are kids. I really do think these are the biggest size you can go in kids. But they're 38, so I don't know. I'm kind of like, is this a big kids pair? Because of this like Velcro feature. I wanted some uh, glittery shoes because I love things that sparkle. Um, but I had to end up taking the soles out of these because they were crowding at the top they were a 38 whereas these are a 39 the other pair 
So I took a chance on this, and when they came in, I was like, oh, I'm so excited. Tried them on. Mm -mm. I was real crowded up here. But then I was like, wait a minute, hold up. Took out the soles, and, or took out the um, inserts, and yeah, girl, not soles. What am I thinking of? <laughs> These are the soles, right? Took out the inserts, and yes, they fit like a glove. They're perfect. Yes. I watched a show on Netflix. Anyway, the kid on this show wore these sneakers all the time, and I had to find out what they were. Um, these are called Vejas. Veja? Veja? I don't know. V-E-J-A. Um, but these are like the Converse style, which is one of my all-time favorite shoes behind the Cortez. Um, but yeah, I've worn these a few times out, and I love them. They are, I don't know, I can't say enough good about these. They are just the perfect shoe. They're not too heavy. They're not too light. You know, sometimes they're a little too light and airy and fly off the back of your foot. Mm-mm. No, these are the perfect sneaker. I wanted a pair in leather, and I'll be honest with you, I kind of thought these were. <laughs> when I ordered them, I kind of thought these were leather all over, but they're not. They're canvas, which was fine. When I got them, I was kind of like, yeah, okay. I'm digging that. So, yeah, I'm totally down with these. This is another pair I bought, and I love, love, love. I've been seeing a lot of people on YouTube, a lot of different, usually men, but um, I don't care about that. I don't care if they're men or women. I, men's or women's, I'll, you know, if I like them, I like them. I'll get them. I don't, mm -mm, that's not a factor for me. <laughs> but um, these are actually for women, and they're called Common Projects. I'm not sure if you ever heard of these, but I saw a few people. I saw a guy online cut, cut them in half. You ever watch that guy? He just cuts sneakers in half. I think that's really cool, but I fell in love with these. I thought they were cool. I love them in all shapes. So I bought a pair from Joma Shop first, and they were men's. And usually I take about a seven, seven and a half in men's, depending. Girl, they were so narrow, and they were the men's. I could get them on, but <laughs> so tight. My foot was screaming, and I'm too old to wear uncomfortable shoes. I might have done it in my 20s and 30s, but mm, no, we're done with that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm over those days. But anyway, I did find them on another site, Farfetch. Um, and they were on sale. Huge. But I wanted a pair of all leather, but these happened to be suede. So I was cool with that. They really do come. I think these shoes run in like the four to $500 range. But they came with the little, you know they're fancy when they got them little dust bags, girl. Ooh, yes. But anyway, um, they are, and they are, I think I got a 40 in these. Um, and the reason I got a 40 was because when I got those men's shoes, I thought, okay, these are awfully tight and these are men's. I'm going to try a woman's leather pair and then see if, you know, and that, that style that I got before, I'll show you a picture of them when I show the, uh, <laughs> the don'ts of my sneaker woes and tragedies but the ones that didn't work out uh i'll post a picture of them but they were like the air force they kind of looked similar to an air force one sneaker but girl um they were just so tight so i thought well i'll get a size up i'll go 40 on these and i've done that a couple times but there is some room see how long and pointy they are so my toe and i've got another pair that's like that too um i can still wear them if i lace them up good they're fine and they're wide enough so I, oh, they smell so good. They're very good leather inside. Like the, oh, so soft Italian leather. I assume, yeah, they say they're made in Italy, so duh. But girl, I just thought, oh yeah. I had to stop down and wipe off my face. It's oily and greasy and red because I tried some new lotion that had Retin-A in it. Mm, no, she's a fail. We're not doing that. But anyway. Um, these are more of a fall shoe, I was saying, so I'm definitely going to wear these with some jeans. They'll be cute. Moving on to, these aren't some that I bought recently. These are old joints, but I just wanted to show you because it is part of a luxury sneaker haul. These are, um, the Alexander McQueen sneakers. If I'm being honest, these are 39s, but they, I don't know, after some wear, they're fine, but 
they are a little too funky in the toe box. I mean, I could use a bigger size, so I just kept it in my mind that if I ever buy another pair of those, I'm going to size up. So I bought another pair, but I found these super cheap. They were authenticated, thankfully, on Mercari. And they were a little, <laughs> I sized up, but I think I went too big, but I like them and I got such a great deal on them. But I bought another pair of the Alexander McQueen oversized sneaker. And I did walk around in these and they are they feel clunky on. I mean, both, you know, they all do because they're like an oversized. But, um, so I got these. I'm not sure which way I'm going to do the shoelaces. But, you know, I love rainbows. And, man, oh, man, for brand new sneakers, pre-loved, these were such a great deal. Um, I got these less than half price. On Mercari and I'm not really sure which way I'm going to style the I'm not sure which which do you guys think the way that they come or I don't know I get more I don't know I think they feel better and they're tighter when I lace them up this way and and if I'm being honest about these two my toe she does come right there so they are I sized up to a 40 on these and man the jump between a 39 and a 40 yes it was substantial so I think these probably would fit a size nine and a half or ten I guess a ten right but I do love the look of them I love them and this was I think this was just me saying oh yeah I can wear those that's a great deal and getting them and now I'm kind of like Am I going to have to get rid of these? I hope not because they are brand new and they're cute. And I did walk around in them just to see, like, what's going on with these. But, man, can you believe over half off on this? Hello? Even if I resell them, you know, I can get my money back. I hope. And, girl, they came with the um, extra laces. So, if I wanted to go, you know, just all white laces in this, I could... But the thing is, that's cute about this, I can still do that and still have a touch of rainbow right here because it's got the eyelets, the little grommets or whatever are a um, rainbow. That is all that she wrote on my luxury sneakers as of August 22nd, 2020. I may be in the market for some. And here's the um, fails. I have several tried and failed shoes. I have to show you these because, girl, I got taken advantage of on eBay, which, you know, eBay's normally, I, I, I'm normally like 90% on eBay. I haven't really gotten taken too bad, but this was a fail, and I'm not out any money because, here, look, check these out. I love these two. These are supposed to be the Converse Comme de Garçon uh, sneaker, as you all know, I've just been in love with these, and that's what prompted me to find that shirt on Amazon that I had the other day. But anyhow, I got these, um, I want to say three weeks after I ordered them, but the day after I paid for these and the guy shipped them, eBay canceled the order, and you know, that now they cancel it and you can't even see it anymore. So I called them, and I was like, what's up? What's going on? And they said, oh... We canceled this, but we can't really tell you why. We're just going to refund you. And I was like, that's cool. So, they did. The next day, I'll never forget it. That was like on a Thursday or Friday. Um, just went on about my business. On Sunday, I wake up and I get an email from the seller. Why? Did, I mean, he was mad too. He was pissed. He was like, why did you cancel the sale? You, I have sent these sneakers and you need to pay me for them. You need to go on PayPal right now. And I was like... Buddy, first of all, I didn't cancel the sale. eBay did. I don't know what's, what's wrong with you and your account, but dude, I, you know, I haven't received any sneakers yet. I assume they canceled them. If I get them, I will send them back to you. So, last week, just last week, I got these. Well, it's actually been two weeks. And they are fakes. 
He hasn't contacted me again. And plus they came from, I don't even know where, Turkey? I, I'm not really sure. They were very far away. They weren't Chinese. It wasn't a Chinese company, but um, I can't remember where the guy said he was. I assured him, I was like, if I get the sneakers and I didn't pay for them, I'm going to send them back to you. Well, here's the thing. I'm not going to ship them back on my dime for fake sneakers. And I'll tell you how I know. I, I know y'all can't see this, but first of all, the bottoms are darker. There's several. I went on a deep dive on, on how come these are fakes. Um, they're darker brown than they're supposed to be. Um, the back's supposed to say Chuck Taylor, but it actually has an I instead of a U. Or it has a dot over the U. It says Chick Taylor. So, these are fake. He hasn't contacted me again. Like I said, uh, I'm not wearing them. I wanted authentic, and I paid an authentic price for these. I'll probably just try to go on, like, Nordstrom or something and get them if I really want them. But now I'm kind of put off to the whole thing because this didn't just happen to me once. Oh, no, girl. When that all went down with the guy, I decided that I wanted the low tops. I punched it into Google, checked several sites, found a pair that was pretty decent, like 100 bucks. I think they were retailing at Nordstrom for like 150 So I was like, yeah, guaranteed authentic. Okay. Girl, again, I got taken. First of all, I ordered a seven and a half. These are a five and a half. They didn't fit me anyway. And they are the same fakes. So now I had paid, luckily with PayPal, I have opened a dispute against them. I sent them email after email. They're ignoring me, of course. So uh, I found out that the company was from Vietnam. They were real good to send me an email when I was like, where's my shoes? What's happened to my shoes? I can't, you know, what's going on? So these took about a month or, yeah, I got these three or four days ago. So these took about a month to get here and um, several telltale signs. But yeah, the bottoms are dark. It says chick, you know, first of all, even if they were authentic, they sent me the wrong size and the size is in the description where I ordered them and you can see it on PayPal. So anyway. I don't think it's meant for me to have this kind of shoe, so we're going to stop while we're ahead. And some other fails to mention. Um, so, showing you a picture, I'll show you a picture of the first pair of Common Projects that I bought. Beautiful shoes, really nice leather. Not, not fitting me. Very, very tight. And they were men's size, so be careful if you've got a wider foot. These are not for the faint at heart, honey. Size up. Um, so that's them. Then I got, um, I wanted some really cool track shoes. Uh, I got on that Mark Jacobs kick. Remember I bought the backpack? Um, he has some really cute joggers. So I ordered a pair, too small this way. I couldn't even get my foot in them. So I went back on there and that's this pair. These were gorgeous. I love these. They're sold out. You can't even hardly find them on the resale market. You can't find them for a good deal. So then I got this pair, which is a totally different colorway. They had six or seven different colorways, and they were all cool. But I sized up, got them. They fit me this way, but they were tight again. So um, they don't even have, you know, I can't even size up again to get another pair because they don't have a colorway, which I like. That is on sale, so I'm, I'm batting, you know. A thousand or whatever on the Marc Jacobs. So that's it for the luxury sneaker reveal. <laughs> Thank you for coming on this long-winded ride with me. Thank you to uh, Maddie Bell or Maddie of Snow77707. If you, I will link her video below and also um, definitely go over if you haven't before. I'm sure you have. She's awesome. Uh, definitely check out all of her videos because, man, she has great stuff. She's always getting great stuff, and you need to see it. So definitely check out her video if you didn't before. If you came over from her channel, thanks for coming by. I'm so glad to see you. And so the husband doesn't know about all my shoes today. 
So if you don't mind, guys, please, if y'all see my husband, don't tell him nothing. Bye. Oh, he loves you. You smell like Daddy's cologne. What's up with that? Better than stinking. Daddy's been petting you. Ooh, it's cold in here.